Hello, this is Dr. Sanjeev Rao. I am MDS in Oral and Maxillofacial and Reconstructive Surgery. I have been practicing hair transplant, lasers, cosmetic as well as aesthetic procedures since last 8 years. So we have completed this case as you have already seen. Uh, now what was my protocol in treating this case? I had two plans in my mind. One to uh, as you have seen that the complete uh, cervical area has been fractured and the tooth was some subgingivally the fracture segment were placed. So what I planned was first plan that I was in my mind and I executed with that plan is remove the fracture fragments that is number one second i did the root canal that is um, by um, rotary and we have uh, taken the apex still around we have kept around 50 mm and uh, of k file the gauging was done now uh, then what was my challenge in that case was of the soft tissue bleeding so I removed the fracture segment, I did the root canal, then I coagulated all those bleeding and the tissues and the extra this uh, whatever the tissue were present by the help of laser. I did a laser disinfection of the canal as well and we have placed, um, uh, we have gauged the GP of around um, 50 uh, at the apex and we have placed some empty also for that uh, as you, it was not an open apex but still we have placed some empty over there at the apex. And again, what we did, very interesting is, we placed a post inside, that was a metal post, and uh, we have given, uh, we have taken those both fragments, and we uh, made some points, you can clearly see in my video that we have made some points, to get a better adhesion of the two fracture segments that were attached. Then we saw how the post space has to be created on that fragment uh, space, and we created that again and then we placed it completely and uh, we tried uh, that uh, how nice it can be how aesthetically good it can be and what i am going to do is uh, i have kept that and after some time i will take the follow up like around 3 months 6 months and uh, of course i'll take a follow up after one year and uh, now i am not planning for any crown and uh, patient aesthetically is also very nice so we do not have to place any crown on that as such um, till I uh, am sure that, um, about any lesion or anything that will come up in future but still what my intention and my planning is about the um, giving the crown after around six months to one year still his canines are, canines are to erupt and I don't want to disrupt his normal dentition that is uh, to be um, the eruption that has to be happen so um, my planning is uh, the first plan that I have already executed you can see this case For watching our videos if you want more videos do like share and subscribe